Hello guys and welcome. Today's video is a review of a new product from Burberry. It's called Lip and Cheek Bloom. And these are blushes and lip products. They come in a tiny little pots and the texture is somewhere between being a cream and a mousse. So it, it feels a little bit mousse-like, but on up, up on application it's more like cream. They look quite bright in the pots, but when you apply them on the skin, actually they look more natural. This product was out only for a couple of weeks and it's certainly kind of love or hate products. But I think it's important to remember what, co what kind of makeup Burberry stands for and it's all very natural, very delicate, very bare skin like. And this is exactly the look that you're getting with this product. So if you like to wear heavy coverage foundation and put a lot of contour and bronzer maybe highlight this probably won't be the product for you because it looks best on the sheer foundation or tinted moisturizer or bb cream at least from my experience that's what i would say um the way to apply it i mean you can use both brush and fingers i actually feel that fingers are the best so the way how i like to apply it is just take take a little bit on my fingertip and literally pat on my cheek let me just grab a mirror so i can actually see what i'm doing and I would start with patting just along where I want the colour to go on. Now, I've got only tinted moisturiser on. I think tinted moisturiser is my preferred base when I'm using this product. I also tried it with a light wonder foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. So it's light to medium coverage foundation. You can use it as well, but just be gentle and pat gently on the skin rather than blend that way you can move your foundation a little bit. Definitely wait with your powder before you finish applying your blush. But the idea is that it's very subtle and natural. Now, once it's on, it actually looks really nice if you like delicate sort of no makeup look. And I think this is exactly what Burberry products are about. I think that's exactly what they're the best for. Um, this is why as well I like it on top of tinted moisturizer because it gives you that natural finish on the skin your skin complexion looks natural blush as well doesn't look really like you applied much product on there um and i again i find that on top of tinted moisturizer you can use this sort of blending motion as well now berber says it's a lip product as well on the lips if you want to use it i would use some sort of balm before i just prepped my lips with charlotte tilbury lip magic which is a propolis, uh, it is a soothing rejuvenated propolis balm. And it's just a really nice hydrating balm, but of course any balm will do. And the same thing, I would put it just on my finger and just blend. Now it gives you quite matte finish. And definitely if you put a lot and on dry lips, it will actually sort of dry out and I don't think it looks nice, so definitely a balm is a must. Now on the cheeks, for the natural look, I think it's really pretty product. I think this blush is generally really nice for someone who doesn't wear heavy makeup. If you love light textures like BB creams or uh, tinted moisturizers, you probably will find this really useful and you will like it. You definitely have to uh, blend it, so there's really no texture of a product, it's just the color that you see. So it's a very natural and delicate look. I think perfect for normal to dry skin. If you have oily skin, I would say try it because um, on my cheeks it blends really nicely. It doesn't sit in the pores, but I, you know, I haven't worked with this product for a long time. I haven't tried it on other complexions, so I don't know how it will behave. I think this product would be really nice for you if you like to wear natural, delicate makeup, if you enjoy wearing tinted moisturizers or light textures in general. Um, beautiful, in my opinion, for anyone with young skin, maybe young girls who are just started with makeup because it's easy to apply. It means you don't have to cake your beautiful skin and hide it. You can just enhance it. And... Um, Personally, you know, I like those light textures, so I like the product, but I think it's because it's kind of a love or hate product, I would advise you to try it if you can. 
Um, they come in these little glass jars, there's few colors, they all look very bright in the pots, even like this one that I have. This is number five called Peony, but actually on the cheeks, because you have to really blend it, it looks much more natural. So try it if you can. And I hope you enjoy this little quick video. I see you very shortly in the next one. Should be on my channel next week. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And thanks for watching.